video uh, recording the differences and my thoughts about some of the headsets I bought. I was looking for a single ear headphone, but I couldn't find any good reviews that really told me anything about them, so I thought I would make a video about that, uh, at least about the ones that I got. So uh, I'm using right now is a Yeti Blue mic that I normally use for recording tutorial videos and stuff like that at work and I have a headset plugged in it's plugged into USB so it's this is not what I was this is not what I was looking to replicate but it's kind of a good baseline for me if I'm when I'm listening to it because this is what I'm used to hearing myself sound like on Teams and Zoom and you know other any other things if I make a YouTube video about anything or a tutorial video, then I use this mic generally because it's sitting in my computer. I have it plugged into my my PS4 right now, though. So, um, so this is sort of like the baseline, and I'm just gonna run around for a second, just kind of shoot some stuff and talk about things. Um, this is a, uh, I, I guess, as far as thoughts go, this is obviously a. A nice setup I like I like it I'm using a pair of Sony headphones they are uh, let's see Sony MDR V6s which I bought a long time ago for uh, plugging into an amp for my guitar and I plug them into this mic so this Yeti blue mic has a headphone jack on the bottom and you can control the audio and the gain and all that good stuff like right on it. It's got a nice big red light when the mute button is not uh, when, when it's not muted. So it's helpful for for more helpful for work stuff where you need to make sure you're, you're you know you're muted whenever you mean to be muted. So uh, and it sounds good. Um, I think maybe I should try turning up the audio or turn up the gain or something like that. Just some reference. Okay, where's this guy at? All right, so I can turn up the, the gain a little bit. And I can turn it up quite a bit if I want to. There, it's, it's actually all the way up right now, so it's probably very loud. There's a lot of background noise if I touch it. <laughs> then it makes a lot of sounds. Um, and I normally keep it down around. Yeah, right around there. So, so that's one. And I guess I would say I like this a lot. This is my preferred sound, um, my preferred recording device, but it's not very pragmatic for what I wanted it for. <clears throat> so let me switch to something else. And we'll just, let's see. I'll just kind of crash down here for a second. I'm gonna unplug the mic and switch to another device. Okay. All right. This is what I've been using for quite some time. I forgot one of the other things I like about the other one, the uh, the Yeti mic, is that you can hear yourself in it. Um, and then depending on how you have your, what kind of headphones you had on, will determine what kind of like sound ceiling you have. So this is a uh, Nubwo gaming headset PS4 N7 stereo I bought this off of Amazon some time ago I think it was on sale for like $20 or something like that so um, it's it's a wired headset it's uh, nothing special about it it's got a little uh, mute button on the 
a mute switch on the, the mic that goes near your mouth so you can mute it. And you turn it back on. Um, and this is what I've been using for for quite some time on my like if I'm actually playing a game. Um, oh, I just noticed I can't hear anything. I wonder if I need to turn it up. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So, um, you know, this is fine. Okay. There's, there's nothing wrong with this headset. It was actually a, a cheap one. It was cheaper than... I think all the other ones I bought at the time, this is from a past experience. Um, and at that time I just wanted to get just some kind of headset that that functioned, I guess. I didn't really have any particular needs. This time around um, I wanted to replace this headset because while it does work fine, it's the ears are, are pretty sealed. So... I, I can't hear a lot of stuff in the room and my hearing is not is not the best anyway so I've got a couple of little kids so this was primarily meant as uh, you know when I'm at home if I wanted to play and my kids are in the room or my I wanted to you know get on my ps4 and <clears throat> not not turn on sound in the whole room and still be able to talk to my wife um, that was kind of what I wanted a one ear uh, piece for but this is another kind of baseline for me because this is what I've been using if I needed to put on a headset at least either this or the built-in uh -oh, built-in um, or the included PS4 little one wire mic Alright, which, I wonder if I have one of those sitting around me somewhere. I, I do use that wired headphone from time to time. But I don't think I have one in my office right now. Oh, I do. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> so let's try that one because these are, again, good baselines because these are the ones that I've been using before I get to the ones that I actually bought and what I thought about them so so this one's fine but I mean I bought it uh, in like a, a year and a half ago so obviously I'm not sending it back <laughs> I don't have any negative thoughts about it because it is what it is so now let me switch to the included little PS4 well it comes with the PS4 the little one wire thing Okay, all right, and this is just the one that comes with the PS4. Obviously, um, for the time that I wanted to only wear one ear, because I, I like had to hear stuff in the room, so I couldn't wear that Nubwo one, um, however that's pronounced, I'm going to go with Nubwo, because it's spelled N-U-B-W-O. Um, so when I had an occasion where I, I absolutely could not cover my ears, and um, that was what I that was what I had to use was, uh, was this one, this uh, one that came with the PS4, because it's got one ear, so you know I can hear everything around me. It obviously doesn't sound great, but it's fine. It functions, um, you know. <laughs> not, you know, no immersive sound <laughs> or anything like that, uh, but it does work, and it's got a mute button, um, although I really don't like these mute buttons that are really, really close to your head, because it's hard to check and make sure that you're not on mute, so right now, <clears throat> because I'm looking at the screen, I'm talking in area chat, um, and I should probably also mention, I guess, that this is generally the only game that I really play is, is Fallout. Um, a couple of games I might, what well, kid games I might put on with my kids or something like that, but uh, generally speaking, I'm not, I'm not playing any other games. 
so uh, where did that guy go? It's a three star. Oh no. Bug three star. Maybe it wasn't a three star, it was a one star. Regardless, there you go. There's some fallout fallout love for you. <laughs> Can you loot the crappy one? Sure. Can you loot the legendary? Nah. <laughs> Like I should, if I had an editor, I'd plug in that Drake meme. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so this one, this one works fine, um, and you know everybody's got one of these. So, but uh, I, when I'm playing Nuclear Winter or I'm on chat with uh, other people in PS4 party chat rather than in the game chat, um, then it it, it becomes you know, I can't see if I'm talking, so I can't make sure that it actually works because I can't see area chat, so I don't know if anybody can hear me, and so I find myself constantly like having to look down at a little teeny mute thing and go, oh, am I on mute or not? And it is, um, it's, you know, some of these things like have a mute where it's more like it's mute on versus mic on. Um, some of them have a red button, some of them don't. This one just has kind of like a little switch. And if you remember that putting it down, the mic is on and pulling it up. Then the mic was off a second ago. Um, then that's fine, but you know, I, I forget all the time and then you know, you still just have to kind of check to be sure. So now we'll get into the uh, newer ones that I bought and tried. So let me grab one. Okay, Mike is on. All right, so this first one is a Turtle Beach Ear Force Recon Chat. It's wired. Um, you can go look up pictures of it. Uh, it really is completely open. There's like this cradle that kind of sits around your ear, but really, I mean, I guess if you, I don't have like giant ears or anything like that. I have pretty small ears. If you, I suppose if you had giant ears, then maybe you would be touching it or larger ears. Um, but for me, like my ear is really in the middle of this thing. <laughs> and so it's not touching anything. So it's completely open. It's really like you're just wearing this, uh, you know, headband thing on the top of your head, but you're not really, you don't really have anything touching your head. So there's no, there's no ceiling of anything at all. Um, and this is this is great this is actually exactly what I was looking for it works perfectly for what I wanted it for um, it sounds okay uh, I remember the audio yeah the volume control is on the thing it does not turn up very loud but some of that I just kind of put to you know attribute to the fact that it's it's kind of far away from your ear and there's no seal at all on it. So works good for audio. I wore it some for uh, some team play and that seemed to be good. It's got a mic on the, uh, that's far enough down that you can actually see it. You know, it's kind of close to your like, lapel. Um, the mic is not color coded or anything whenever you switch it, but you can see there's like a little, um, there's like a little mic and a little mic thing with a line through it, and so it's a little bit it's a little bit easier to see. So I'll run around and just talk a little bit more. I don't really know exactly what the audio sounds like for these. I I didn't get anybody uh, that I regularly play with really complaining about anything like they couldn't hear me or anything. So I'm guessing is okay. Although some of it could be with you know placement. I don't know. So I just made my mic up a little bit. Um, I don't love uh, some things I don't like about it. I don't really like the 
uh, I guess this little arm that the microphone is on. And this is a kind of common thing I found with these, where these all seem to be kind of cheaper for these ones where you, you have like one ear. Um, there were a lot of other ones I did not buy. Uh, some had really terrible reviews, but some of those reviews are kind of subjective because it depends on what you're looking for, you know what I mean? If you're looking for, for you know, professional one side, you know, headphone, then, you know, you're probably not going to get that for like $20. And so, you know, to me, I wish I could have gotten reviews that told me more like, am I getting $20 worth of headphone? Because that's what I really want to know. So, well, let me not get killed here. But this one was, was pretty comfortable for long term use. I guess the only downside of it in terms of comfort is that the earpiece is kind of hard and it sort of sits around your ears. And so I wore it a couple of nights and it seemed okay. But um, there are some other ones that I've got that are a lot more comfortable. And I'll talk about those in a little bit too. This one is kind of hard, so... Uh, Alright, where'd this... Where's this go? Okay. Alright. So... <clears throat> so that's... That's it for this Turtle Beach Air Force Recon chat. Um... I guess also I read some people saying that some of these worked in chat and didn't work in the game. Like you could only hear chat, but you couldn't hear audio. Uh, and then I, I, I feel like I read where people were saying, oh, you just need to turn that on or off or whatever. I didn't have to adjust anything. I just plugged these into the PS4 controller, all these into the PS4 controller, um, except for the Yeti, which was plugged in the front of the PS4. But all of these headsets that I'm using are all just meant to be plugged into the PS4 controller, and they all worked fine. I didn't have... I didn't notice any difference. So, that is the recon chat one. So, let me switch to the next one. Okay. All right, all right. So this is the next one. So this is a uh, LVL 30, level 30. It's PlayStation, it's PDP Gaming. Um, I'm, you know, I think this is, I think LVL 30, I guess, is the brand or the model or something like that. And uh, PD, or PDP Gaming, I guess, is the brand. So this one actually works really well. Uh, let me find the, find the volume control. Okay, so, so it's all the way up. So this one is a little bit louder than the other one. Um, for me, this uh, is sort of like on top of my ears, like pressing against my ear. Um, it has somewhat of a seal because there's kind of like a cushion. It's sitting on the, on the. It's not sitting like around my ear. It's sitting like on my ear. But because there's some, some cushion, it's sealed better. I think it sounds louder. So I don't, I don't. It's probably like the same size as the other one as far as like the drivers go or whatever. But it, it does sound louder. And um, this one has a flip up to mute it doesn't have a mute button as a flip up to mute now the one thing I don't like about that is that I don't know if you can if you'll hear that but this is like the mic boom and that arm is flexible so you can twist it up to mute muted for a second there and so that that was one of the 
luxury features. I was like, I'd really like to get a flip up to mute. Um, I didn't know how pragmatic that was going to be in a one, you know, one earphone kind of headset. But it was something that I wanted just for the convenience. Uh, you know, like I said, you, you end up always kind of looking down at these little switches and buttons and gadgets that were they, they're muting everything, and that normally ends up being kind of annoying where you don't want to do that. So <clears throat> that was one plus for this. I really, I really liked this one. It's super light. Uh, it was pretty cheap, I think, maybe like twenty or thirty bucks, and this was actually what I really thought when I was initially like tried them on for a little bit I thought this one is the one this is probably gonna be the one the uh, headband the thing that you know the head, the head I guess the part that holds your head because these one-handed ones are, are you know they're kind of clamping onto the opposite side of your head wherever the, the speakers at I'm wearing these on my right ear um, this one was pretty comfortable, pretty light, like the Recon Chat one was actually a little bit stiffer, and so I thought for longer play times that one might be a little bit uncomfortable, and the, you know, the way it pressed against your head around your ear also felt like maybe after a while it would get uncomfortable, um, and that one was okay. This one, while it didn't bother my head, it actually did end up eventually bothering my ear, the fact that it was kind of squished onto my ear, I guess, it seemed to, that seemed to be really uncomfortable after, um, probably a couple hours of play, I guess, I think I played a couple of different nights, um, for, uh, I usually will play for maybe like one or two hours, um, tops, I have marathon sessions, I'm sure, like everybody else, but generally speaking, I would say it's more like an hour and a half to two and a half hours, like a, you know, maybe like a 9, 9.30, 10 p.m. to, you know, 11.30, 12 ish kind of thing when I'm playing. And um, this one, by the time I actually went through a whole play session with it, it was kind of bothering me. So <clears throat> another one I don't, this one, you know, I can adjust the mic a little bit closer. I don't remember if this is the one, one of these, somebody said they couldn't hear me, but I think it was just that I didn't have the boom close enough to my mouth, and as soon as I, I moved it, um, I never, I never got any comments about it, so I know I said earlier that people were like they couldn't hear me, but I think that was just operator, nobody said they couldn't hear me, but that was just an operator error, I think I just put it on, and I had it kind of, you know, dangling down, so, so this one was actually my, my my primo contender, I thought, uh, when I first got it and put it on, but it ended up being a little bit too uncomfortable. Now, maybe, uh, maybe if you, have, you know, if you're smaller head or something like that, I don't know. You know, maybe if these types of earphones, like the on, not over ear, but the on ear headphones, don't bother your ears anyway, then maybe this is perfect. So, but it sounded good and it was pretty cheap. So, all right, let me switch to the next one. Okay, this is actually my last single ear headphone, and I did get some other headphones that I'm going to talk about really quick here. This is the HyperX Cloud Chat headset. Now, I have a HyperX wireless headset, and it's pretty nice. Um, my, I think my two-year-old actually threw the USB uh, dongle in the garbage at some point so I ordered another one that was a huge pain in the butt because you can only get them off of HyperX's website it took two or three weeks to get here once it finally got here it does work but you can't actually adjust the volume um, so you know anyway I'm not gonna get into it but the the point is I had as far as the quality of that that cloud headset went uh, from HyperX, I thought it was pretty good, you know, so I just kind of lost some stuff and didn't get to spend as much time with it. So I saw this one. This one seemed like it was going to be pretty good. This is the wired one again. These are all wired. And um, this one has, I think, a better mute button. 
because I just muted it. Um, the whenever you mute it, it's it's red. Like you know, when it's just a little manual switch. But whenever you slide it, <coughs> the when it's muted, it shows red, and when it's not muted, it's not red. And so I like that. The uh, audio controls, um, you can touch them from both sides. It's kind of like a little twisty spinner thing that goes, uh, but it pokes out of both sides of this little, I don't know what you call these little control areas that kind of dangle down, but uh, it makes it kind of really easy to grab it and adjust the volume. So uh, after the level 31 bothered my ear, this one was kind of next in the lead. Now what I don't like about this is no flip up to mute and the location of the boom feels a little bit weird. It's like way down on the bottom and then it kind of hangs down below your your mouth area and you have to kind of fold it up but you can't really get it out in front of your mouth. So it's just going to be picking up audio from the side which I think is probably okay but you know, it's one of those things where some of the other mics had, I guess, a, a longer boom that was a little bit more adjustable. And so, so let me run around a little bit, shoot these guys. Um, this one, again, not the loudest um, headset. And I didn't really love the audio that I got out of it. But this one does seal, does go like around your ears. Oops. We don't want to do that. So this one does go around your ears, but it, it's still it's maybe it's supposed to be a better, like more complete seal, and it's not really like a super complete seal. Oh goodness, he's got to kill me. Am I not able to shoot for some reason? So. Goodness gracious. These guys are particularly spunky today. Not usually using this, uh, but I have a bunch of fusion cells for some reason that I had, so I'm fair to use some of them. It's double XP weekend, so it's a good time to just run around and tag stuff without killing everything for everybody. I'm on a private server right now, though, so it's not really a problem. Okay, so that's the uh, Cloud HyperX or HyperX Cloud Chat headset. Um, I think this one's reversible. I mean, I mean, I like this one. This this is. I did not. I'm not going to keep a single ear headset, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, oh, there's, there's one guy here. But um, this, if I was going to keep one, this is the one that I would keep. So, and that's probably the best conclusion for talking about these single ear headphones, which was originally my biggest problem that I couldn't find any any reviews of these that were kind of meaningful or anything. Um, when I looked on YouTube, every single headset I found was like, uh, you know, it's like people talking about like call centers and if you look for gaming headset reviews, then you find other stuff. And so, you know, you find like full headsets and things like that. So, <clears throat> um, but this, this one is, I, I think, uh, takes, you know, takes the win for me. Um, if you have experience with on-ear headphones and you like them, then I would say probably the level 30 is the way to go. The Turtle Beach one is, is fine too, but I think just uh, between the three of them, I'd rather have the flip up if I if I could stand the uh, you know directly on my ear thing, and then between the Turtle Beach and the HyperX one, uh, I think I'd have to go with the HyperX. But it's pretty close. And if you if you need to have it completely open, um, like you want to have both ears open and hear stuff, then the Turtle Beach one wins for sure because that one is completely not covering anything really. So all right, let me switch to the next one.
Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So this is a two ear one. Uh, this one meets none of my initial criteria. This is from some company, Bootfulaki, B U T F U L A K E. But Foo Lake <laughs> Pro Gaming Headset Model GH1. So, why do I have this one? Um, well, it was super cheap. It was like 20 bucks or something on sale on Amazon. Um, I was looking at it and looking at the mic, looking at some of the videos really quick. It looked like it was a flip up to mute headset, but it is not. So, it's all the way up now. You maybe you can hear me. It looks like it's still showing up in area chat. I put it all the way down. Probably sounds a lot better, um, but you know it's worth mentioning this one. So this one, uh, some good things about this one. It does have the best little hanging control thing. Um, it is hanging low enough, and it is big enough to kind of hold in your hand. Um, it's also the loudest so far of these ones that we're talking about that are headsets plugged into this. Uh, but again, it's two ears and it's and it's sealed pretty well. Um, the mute button is on the little dangling control. It's it's not flip up, so I don't really know why it flips all the way up. Um, another kind of weird thing about it is the mic flips up. It flips all the way up, but it doesn't flip around. And so, as opposed to all of the other ones I've been wearing so far. Um, all the the one ear ones this is on my left ear so um, I guess I should mention that that nub woe one uh, the mic is also on my left side so probably doesn't make any difference but you know it's, again just worth noting so this one um, which is so cheap that I thought I would buy it and give it a try um, it did not say it was flip up to me I don't believe but just watching the videos, I thought, oh, maybe it, it does flip up to mute and I'm just missing it here or it's just lost in the translation or it's a bad, uh, it's a bad description or something. I don't know. So I just actually had to turn it down because this one is, it's just so much louder. It's, it's turned up um, all the way right now. And I, I had to turn it down because it's just it's just too loud once you start getting close to stuff and start shooting. So Alright. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? Just because this is making me a little bit crazy. Take the tank killer out, put it on ground pounder. So we can reload a little bit faster. Okay. So we're not going to go in here. Uh, we'll go somewhere else. Ah, here we go. A wall's up. So we'll go over to A wall and switch over to a different headset. I think there's not really anything to talk about this. I wouldn't buy this one. It's, there's nothing wrong with it though. If you need a cheap headset, um, it also it plugs into USB and also has the conjoined uh, audio and mic cable, like you need to plug into a PS4. So I guess that's pretty cool. If you're going to be switching back and forth between a PC and a PS4, you know, one headset to rule them all. But <clears throat> I got to imagine there's other headsets out there and probably some that are better. Uh, this one's it's pretty comfortable. Uh, so I guess for extended play, it would be okay. But it's, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty bulky. Um, yeah, not my favorite. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not going to keep it. So, all right, let me switch to another one. Okay, all right, now this is the one that I'm actually going to keep. <laughs> so, and this is a uh, PC37X Sunhauser Sennhauser. Um, I have the Mass Drop version. 
pick this up off of Amazon. I think this one was like 130 bucks or so. Significantly more than all the other ones that I've used. And when I first got this, um, yeah, I've just I've seen the Sennhausers um, whenever I've looked for replacements for my Sony's before, uh, and I just have never bit the bullet. One of the things that this this one, I guess it maybe doesn't come up, but it's it's a feature that I've I've seen associated with these before is this open back design, where I guess it's supposed to let more sound in. I don't think I have open back on those Sony's. I'm not really sure, and I'm not really much of an audiophile, so this is kind of, you know, outside of my, um, really kind of outside of my area of expertise or really what I care about. But the goal was to make sure that I could hear stuff in the in the room, and that I didn't have to. I, I guess like you know, worry about my headsets or my headset sealed and I can't hear anything. So everything else was kind of secondary, I guess, compared to that particular feature. And when I put these on, because I ordered them just to give them a shot, and um, when I put these on, I noticed that I actually can hear, I can hear stuff in the room, <laughs> which was, which was weird. So, um, so I tried these for a much more extended period of time than all the other ones. I kind of had the gist on the other ones. Like I said, I really was kind of set on the, the the HyperX Cloud Chats as probably being the best fit for me. Um, and I, But I had ordered these and those other cheapo ones just to kind of try them out. So another big thing on these is these have uh, flip up to mute. So again, huge luxury feature but you know you're you're spending a lot more money for these so I think you probably expect to get some of your luxury wants <laughs> you know with these um, but these sound great um, the you know audio uh, I mean I, I would say the audio is not like it's not definitely deafeningly loud but it sounds good enough for uh, being in, you know, having two, two, two things on your ears. Um, I've actually this comes with the separate uh, mic and, and audio plugs, um, and also with a cable for the uh, single plug, so you can use that on your on your PS4 controller. Um, I don't I don't need the separate plug, so I'm not sure. I noticed there were a lot of I assume that's maybe like some kind of a like a PC thing, um, but even that I would say is probably a uh, a legacy thing. As I imagine most PC situations, you want to get USB now, not you know like an audio. But whatever. Again, out of my wheelhouse, kind of. So I'm not really not really sure. But this is what I ultimately decided to stick with because I noticed when I was testing these that I could really hear everything. I could really wear them, just keep them on all the time. Um, and I guess the open back design, you know, makes it to where I can I can hear most stuff around me. These have some kind of like I don't know, like a satiny, velvety feeling uh, thing on the ear cups. Which makes them pretty comfortable for, you know, long gameplay sessions. And overall, I, I was just, the longer I tried these out, the happier I, I got about them. Like, the more comfortable they were, the more I felt like this was a better, a better way to go. Um, you know, so... Um, so this is what I've actually been using for for a couple of weeks now, and now I just need to return everything. So that's that's really it. Hopefully that helps somebody.